previous videos with uh, soft speaking and trigger words, uh, I realized that I really, really, really needed a windscreen for this microphone. I think that my voice sounds much better, especially when saying things like please, 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 the P's, the popping sounds much, much, much better. allows me to breathe a little bit closer to the mic and not have to like back away and I think it sounds a lot better I hope you guys enjoy and it allows me to do nice things like this like mic stroking mic brushing I think this is one of my favorite triggers in any ASMR ever is mic brushing like this so that is what this video is gonna be. It's gonna be probably a little short. Uh, I might loop it. Who knows? We'll see. But I hope that you guys enjoy this mic brushing video and with a little bit of rambling in it too. listening to and watching ASMR for a very long time. Um, I remember when I was very young talking to my mom about this like weird tinkling in my head when I would hear like especially like substitute teachers talk. Substitute teachers were always had the best voices. I think it's because they're typically older and they had like a really rhythmic voice. They would all kind of talk in similar ways and I really liked how that sounded. Uh, and she thought I was crazy. She was like, I have never heard this before. Um, I did a little bit of research and found out about ASMR and uh, I showed her the Wikipedia page and at the ASMR was uh, really like taboo and weird and the Wikipedia page did me no favors. Uh, she thought it was weird but wasn't rude about it or anything. Uh, and she told me, she was like, oh, your grandma probably knows something about it. Uh, I've never talked to her about it because I think she'd think it's weird. But um, since then it is not weird. My mom doesn't think it's weird anymore. Thank you, internet, for that. But, um, I think the first ASMR YouTuber I ever really found that, uh, really spoke to me was, uh, Allie at ASMR Requests. I believe it's her channel title. Um, there was just something that were just amazing. I was never a big fan of, I'm still not a big fan of like role plays. Um, outside of like maybe like barbershop role plays or like medical role plays, those are fine. But uh, she has like a, like sci-fi role plays that I know people love and no shade whatsoever. They're, they're amazing videos. They're just not my cup of tea. Um, but it was really her, like, I think she called them like three Thursdays or Thrifty Tinkles or something like that where she would go to like a thrift store and buy things for like less than five or ten dollars and she'd be tasked with um, making an ASMR video about it. I loved, 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 loved those videos. There's just something so relaxing about them. Um, yeah, it was amazing. It's a shame that she's not in the game anymore, but hey, you gotta do what you gotta do. It's, it's YouTube, it's an ephemeral space, not everyone can be here forever. Um, and as long as she's happy, that's really what matters, it's, it's not about us. But 
she was the first ASMR YouTuber I really found and loved their content. It's just so, so nice uh, to have a space on the internet that with people that felt like me. It felt really weird being the one person I knew that had ASMR. No, I've still met very few people in my life that know what ASMR is and are willing to talk about it. I've probably met maybe two or three people. I can think of one off the top of my head, but it's got to be more than that, that watch ASMR and get tingles and have ASMR, you know what I mean? Um, but it's... Uh, I don't remember the person. 
person's name because I'm pretty sure their channel got deleted. But there was an ASMR YouTuber I absolutely loved, 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 loved. And um, their channel's gone now, which is really, really sad. I wish that weren't true. I wish their channel was still here, even if they weren't posting. But it's not about me. It's just a shame that this YouTube space isn't for everybody. ASMR is the place that is. Um, I've seen very, very little ASMR drama on YouTube. It's just so nice. The only times I've seen drama are like not petty drama. It's like pretty big drama, you know what I mean? Like it's not like, oh, they said something kind of mean or like they need to learn. It's like someone commits a crime and it's like, okay, this would have happened in any YouTube space. It's not like gaming, uh, gaming YouTube, where there's drama like every other second of people just saying some pretty heinous stuff. ASMR is, it's pretty chill. That's what I love about ASMR on YouTube. I think that's about it for this video. If you all enjoyed, feel free to like, subscribe, and ring the bell for more, and let me know what you think I should do in the future. Thank you so much.